Because what happened at the National Conference was really important. And um, my report, you might find a bit boring because it's all about democracy implications and the constitutional stuff. You won't find much in there about policy and the debate like that. But I think the other delegates, in particular Judy, has written a really detailed report about some really important policy and fringe and stuff like that. And Jill's written a fantastic report. And I have to apologise to Chris because there's a limit to what I could do this week and I haven't read his yet, but I'm sure his was great as well because Chris was all over conference and doing lots of stuff. Um, but the most important thing that happened at the conference was actually right at the start. And of course, you would hear me saying this, it was a challenge to conference arrangements committee report. It wasn't actually from us, um, but it was basically the whole of conference was divided and it was divided over the vote on constitutional amendments. And these were the constitutional amendments which we'll be discussing later on in this meeting, coming out of the democracy review. Um, and there had been, as is always the case, the NEC had put in a load of constitutional amendments. Constituencies had constitutional amendments coming forward from last year. And the Conference Arrangements Committee was saying the NEC's constitutional amendments, we'll debate those on Sunday, and the constituency ones, we'll debate those on Tuesday. And this was apparently at the request of the NEC. The Conference Arrangements Committee was at pains to say, it's not us going for this, it's not us doing this, it's the NEC told us to do this, which is somewhat in itself unconstitutional, so I'm not quite sure CAC would actually do that. Um, and of course what it meant was that if the NEC's rule changes got passed, lots of the constituencies' rule changes would just disappear. They'd never see the light of day. Which of course why the NEC wants its ones taken first, and not all of them taken together. And so there was this huge row, probably I would say, I don't know if the others would agree with me, the biggest row of the week, and certainly if you look at the votes, which I've recorded, in my report, the closest vote of the week, I mean, it was something like 53 to 47. Oh, well, I've, I've put the official figures in the report. Uh, I have put the official figures in my report. Um, it was on this, and it just, you know, it's just recorded as a vote of Constitution, of Conference Arrangements Committee, but it was all about how are we going to debate the democracy review. And underlining that, it was all about how is the democracy review going forward? Because, because the NEC has kicked down the line very important sections of the democracy review, the entire section, for example, on local government. Um, and so we won't get any changes this year to the LCF, unless, of course, branches want to propose constitutional amendments themselves, which I would encourage you to do. And don't forget, you can do that. Branches can send constitutional amendments to the LCF for its AGM for consideration. And perhaps I should step away now before the chair of the LCF hits me. Um, and that's another matter. I think I've probably said enough, and I should pass on to one of the other delegates.